Are you planning to repot your rubber plant or rubber tree? How can you tell when it's time to repot your rubber plant? In this video, I'll show you step by step how to repot your rubber tree and how to tell when it's time to repot your rubber tree. Also, it doesn't matter what type of rubber tree you have, the variegated type or the burgundy type, the same rules apply to all rubber trees. When to repot your rubber plant? Before we get into how to repot your rubber plant, let's first go over how to tell when to repot your rubber plant. There are three things to check for as you decide whether or not to repot your rubber tree. First, check for signs that your rubber tree has outgrown its current pot. If you see the roots coming through the drainage holes of your rubber plant, this is a sign that your rubber plant has outgrown its current pot. If you see roots at the surface of the soil, this may also be a sign that your rubber tree is outgrowing its current pot. Do know that it's normal that rubber trees do have aerial roots, so roots coming out of the soil surface is not a sure way to tell that your rubber tree has outgrown its current pot. Another reason for repotting your rubber plant is if it's not growing bigger. If you want your rubber tree to grow bigger, you should repot your rubber tree in a larger pot. A pot that is too small can stunt the growth of your rubber tree. Replant it in a larger pot and it will grow bigger. And alternatively, if you think your rubber tree has reached its optimal size, then you should stop repotting. A third reason to repot your rubber tree is if your rubber tree is unstable. Rubber tree are big indoor plants. If your current pot is not heavy enough and your rubber tree is prone to toppling over, you should repot your rubber tree to a heavier pot so it will be more stable and not topple over. Do you need to repot new rubber plants? Newly purchased rubber plants does not need to be replanted immediately unless it is in a pot that has no drainage holes. Check the bottom of the pot of your new rubber plant. Are there drainage holes? Make sure you double check that there is no grow pot underneath with drainage holes. If there are no drainage holes, then you should repot your new rubber tree. You don't want your rubber tree to sit in soggy soil. It might get root rot, which is fatal for your rubber tree. Another reason why you should repot your new rubber plant is if it is showing signs that it is outgrowing its current pot. If you see roots coming out of the drainage holes, then it may be time to repot. What soil should you use to repot your rubber plant? Use well-draining, organic, all-purpose potting soil. Only buy organic soil mix because the fertilizer is not as concentrated in organic soil. Non-organic soil should really only be used for outdoor plants. What size pot should you repot your rubber plant in? Repot your rubber plant in a pot that is 3 to 4 inches larger than its current pot. Make sure you pick a pot with drainage holes. Also, if you have a large rubber tree, make sure your new pot is heavy enough so it doesn't topple over. How to repot your rubber plant? Step 1. Water the rubber plant you'll be repotting. The moist soil will help make it easier to repot. You can start watering 1 to 2 days before repotting your rubber tree. Step 2. Fill the bottom of the new pot with an organic potting mix. Make sure you crumble any soil that is in big clumps. Step 3. Remove the rubber plant from its current pot. If you're struggling to remove the rubber plant from its current pot, you can use a butter knife along the edge to help you, but be careful with the roots. Try squeezing the pot or shaking it out first before using a knife. Step 4. After you remove the rubber plant from its pot, gently massage the soil to loosen the roots. Loosening the roots will help your rubber tree establish roots in the new pot. Step 5. Center the rubber tree in the new pot, then fill the side with potting mix. Leave an inch from the rim of the pot. Step 6. Water your new rubber tree thoroughly, then move it to the same spot that it used to be in your home. A word of caution about the rubber tree milky sap. Rubber tree will ooze out white milky sap when you cut the leaves or if there are any cuts and openings. This milky sap can be toxic and irritating to the skin. So be careful when handling rubber tree. You may want to wear gardening gloves. Please like and subscribe for more gardening videos like this. Check out my rubber tree quick start guide. Everything you need to do when you bring a new rubber tree home. Thanks for watching.